The Brewers finally got new jerseys. If you've been a fan of this channel for a while, you've seen my videos talking about jerseys in Major League Baseball. The Brewers were among some of my least favorite. I mean, that gross, like, almost diarrhea colored tan that they had in there, it's gone. It's gone forever. They updated their logo, which they kind of went back and did the retro logo, but they updated it. They got new jerseys. The Padres got new jerseys. The Diamondbacks sort of kind of got new jerseys. You saw the title of this video. Today, I'm going to be reacting, giving you my opinion on the new jerseys in Major League Baseball that we have seen the Thus far. I expect more teams to come out with new jerseys or at least updated jerseys since Nike is now the manufacturer of the jerseys for MLB. So as more and more come out throughout the offseason, of course, I will be reacting to them on the channel. As always, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to leave a like. That's the best way to show your support. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you enjoy the content. If you love baseball, click that sub button, join the team. Remember to get in the comments down below. Give me your thoughts and opinions on the Padres, Brewers, Diamondback jerseys, anything you want to talk about. Let me know in the comments down below. And remember, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DraftNeckMark. Links in the description. I'm always talking baseball over there. So let's start off with the Milwaukee Brewers because not only did we get a new jersey but we got all these new logos that they dropped as well and I gotta say I'm a fan of almost every single thing that they did. First off for their new logo they're dropping that weird little M again with that gross brown tan color whatever it was. They're going with the blue and gold. They're bringing back the glove logo which is one of my favorite logos in all of baseball history. I love it and it looks great with the I guess new colors. Technically before it was like more of a royal blue now they're going more to a navy blue. For those of you who don't know which is probably not gonna be many but there still will be some of you out there. The glove logo for the Milwaukee Brewers is actually an M and a B. You'll see the M as part of like the fingers of the glove. The B is then the thumb and then of course like the palm area. So MB for Milwaukee Brewers. They released like this whole graphic about each and every little part of the new Brewers logo and what it means. I tell you why they're called the Milwaukee Brewers. It goes back to like the Barrel Man days. That's where their logo comes from. That's where their name comes from. The webbing of the glove, the M and the B are now connected. It, there's a lot going into it. I'll put the graphic on the screen. You can look it up on Twitter or on Google. There was thought that went into this logo. They didn't just choose it because it was a retro logo. They actually gave it some reasoning now. But regardless, I'm a huge fan of the new logo of the Milwaukee Brewers. So much better than what they had. Definitely a good start. They also revealed a new Barrel Man logo, which I don't think is going to be used too much, but it's just cool. It's a different kind of logo that's going to be like their mascot. They also have the state of Wisconsin with an M on it. They've got a baseball with like the wheat as the seams. Personally, I like all the new logos. I love all the new rebranding. The Milwaukee Brewers did a fantastic job. Now let's talk about the jerseys because that's what you came here for. And Oh my goodness, are they fire? They are so good. I'm going to be buying at least one of these Milwaukee Brewers jerseys this season. First up, we've got the cream jerseys. And let me tell you, I cream for cream jerseys. I'm a huge fan of when a team has a cream colored jersey. So much so that I even say that I like the Phillies cream colored jersey. Yes, the team that I probably hate almost as much as the Yankees. They had nice cream colored jerseys. It just works. It looks great. And the Brewers one in particular looks fantastic. There's not a lot going on with it. It is a very simple looking jersey. Brewers across the front. They got the number in the bottom left hand corner but just cleaning up the colors the navy blue the gold it just works so much better the stripes on the sleeve I really like too I think it's a great ad my one knock on it would be that I get a lot of University of Michigan vibes from these jerseys but that doesn't bother me I still think they look great the cream color jersey I am definitely buying one of those that's a guarantee Christian Yelich cream color jersey then for another one of their home jerseys which is probably more of their traditional home jersey it's going to be the one with the pinstripes this one's definitely more plain but still it is a huge improvement on what they had I'm a sucker for pinstripes Stripes. Yankees have classic pinstripes jerseys. The Mets have good pinstripes. The Cubs have good pinstripes. A lot of teams have it. It works for good reason. The Brewers, it works as well. I'm a big fan of the patch on the arm. They got the baseball with the wheat as the seams. I think that's a really cool way to have baseball and integrate it with what the Brewers actually are. Overall, their home jerseys, big fan of them. Good stuff there with the white and the cream color jerseys. For the road away, you guys know I'm not a huge fan of gray jerseys. Typically not my favorites, but I gotta say that these work. Out of all their jerseys, these are gonna be my least favorite, but that doesn't mean I still don't think they're good again, a huge improvement over what the Brewers had. I've said it before and I've said it again. I hated the previous branding of the Milwaukee Brewers. It was terrible. This is just miles better. I'm not going to be purchasing this road jersey. I don't think it's the best by any means, but I do like it. I do like that they changed it up and put Milwaukee on the away. I like when teams kind of keep it different. I think the number on the front of the jersey actually stands out really well, and I love the patch on the side. I love that they're using a different patch. The state of Wisconsin with an M in it. They've also got the stripes on there, which is a little bit different than what the cream jersey is. And then the final jersey, which is a favorite of a lot of people and I will say it's probably my second favorite. I'm still a sucker for the cream. But this navy jersey that the Brewers released along with a different kind of hat they're going to be wearing. They're going to be wearing a two-tone hat with the navy and gold on the front. 
big fan of this look. Now, does it look a little bit like the Montgomery Biscuits? Yes, but I didn't know that until someone posted it on Twitter and I saw it. Not sure who did it. I love the navy jersey. I love when jerseys have colors in them. They're not just gray. They're not just white. I love that they decide to go with the gold for the text and the gold for, I don't know what you call it, the piping or the lining down the middle of the jersey, the gold number. It's a really good accent color to navy blue. Everything with this jersey works beautifully. Big fan of what I'm seeing from the Milwaukee Brewers jerseys. I like them a whole lot. It all just pops. It all works. A huge improvement on what they had. Now, before I talk about the San Diego Padres, let's briefly talk about what the Diamondbacks did. Very subtle changes, nothing too crazy, but there is some stuff to talk about here. So the biggest thing to note with the new Diamondbacks jersey is that they seem to be getting rid of that rattlesnake pattern that was on the shoulders and on the hat and the bottom of the pants. I personally liked it on the jersey, but as for the pants and the hats, it looked absolutely ridiculous. It looked terrible. I still think getting rid of it is an improvement on the jerseys that they previously had. Like the ones without it definitely look better, but I didn't think on the jersey itself, it was terrible. Now for the home jerseys, they're going with the plain white. They're going with black diamondbacks across the front, red number, stripe on the side, simple jersey, looks clean, looks fine. Road jersey, again, kind of cleaned it up a little bit. They got rid of some things, but very simple again, diamondbacks front. The home teal is something that I'm, I don't know how I feel about it. I will say it looks better on the white jersey and it definitely does make it pop a little bit like the teal outline around the D-backs and the teal number on the front. It definitely looks good. Might have to get a Cattell Marte jersey in that color. It looks pretty nice. And they also got the different hat now with the Diamondback different logo. Again, outlined in teal. Not one of my favorites, but definitely one I would buy. The black jersey that Diamondbacks are rocking, there's not much difference from what we've seen in the past. I think it looks pretty clean. The Sedona red jersey, I've always been a fan of, but again, there's just not a whole lot of difference in these. I mean, they're updated. I really wouldn't say there's much change. And I'm sure some of you in the comments will tell me what the changes are that I'm missing, but I'm just not personally seeing enough to really care about that big of a difference. Like, they got rid of the rattlesnake. That was kind of the biggest thing. Finally, they have the Los Diamondbacks jerseys, which are taking place, I guess, of the road teal ones that just look so bad. I don't know how I feel about them. Such dark colors being accented by teal on a dark jersey. I understand where they're going. They're better than like the Miami Marlins all black jerseys, but still not a huge fan of these. These are probably just above the road jerseys for me. Not great but not bad. Which leads us to the final team, the San Diego Padres, which I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for my video to talk about the Padres jerseys. So here we go. I couldn't make just one video, not long enough. Oh my God, I love them. I love the Padres jersey so much. You guys know I'm a big kind of like Padres secret fan. I'm obviously still a big Mets fan, but if I wasn't, I'd probably become a Padres fan. I want to live in San Diego, love the players on their team and their jerseys are always amazing. Well, for 2020, they're going to the brown and gold. They changed up their logo a little bit, nothing crazy, mostly just the colors, but the new jerseys that they dropped are insane. They're so nice. So first off, the combination of brown and gold, I think is a fantastic look. You don't see it a lot in sports. Honestly, I don't I don't know if there's another professional sports team in America that has this color combination. It's fantastic. It's different. It works. Maybe a little UPS like, but I like it. The home jersey, they got the pinstripes. You guys know I like the pinstripes a little bit. They've got the Padres big and bold across the front, brown and gold, brown and gold hat. Love it. It's simple. It works. I just think it's so good looking. You then have what I would call their gray jersey, even though it's not really gray. It's more of like a tan gray mix. Fantastic. This is one of the few, like, I guess, kind of tannish gray jerseys that I absolutely love. San Diego across the front in the brown and gold. It's just different. They did something that we don't see a lot of teams do. A lot of teams stay with that gray color. A lot of teams go with a deep gray color. The Padres went a little bit different. They went with like a brown gray. And let me tell you, it works for me. Big fan. Plus Fernando Tatis rocking it. I mean, it looks great. Also, they got the little stripe as well on the sleeve there. It looks good. And then we've got the big one, the one that I'm the biggest fan of, which is going to be the brown jerseys. I have the brown Manny Machado jersey already from last year. They're just making it now like the official jersey that they're going to be wearing a lot. They're going with like those tan cream looking colored pants as well. Brown and gold. It works so well. San Diego and gold across the front on a brown jersey. It pops. It's so clean. I love the new Padres look for their jersey. It is fantastic. Might have to buy every single one of them. I mean, I need a Tatis. Probably going to need a Mackenzie Gore. They've got some good players. If these new jerseys are any indication of what we're going to be seeing from teams coming forward, working with Nike, I'm super excited. One team in particular, though, this is a plea. This is is me going and begging for it. The New York Mets, my favorite team. I need one jersey back and one jersey only. If you're a Mets fan, you know exactly what it is. I need the black New York Mets jerseys back. We've got a new jersey maker. We got Nike. They're making great jerseys for everyone else. Let them remake the black jerseys. Those are my favorite Met jerseys of all time. Those are the Piazza jersey. Those are some of the best memories I have as a Mets fan. Give me the black jerseys back. Make it a thing where like every Sunday or every night game in the homestand, we wear one. Give me the black jerseys back. You know how much they would sell and the Mets are about making money. I know that. The Wilpons, they love to have money. You make black jerseys, you're gonna get even more of it. 
bring them back. So that's my opinions on all the new jerseys in Major League Baseball. I would love to know what you guys think about them down in the comments below. Do you think they look great? Do you think they look like trash? Let me know down below. Remember to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. That's the best way to support the channel as well as subscribing if you're new and you enjoy the content. If you love baseball, click that sub button, join the team. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Draft Nick Mark. Links in the description. Always talking baseball over there. And that's going to wrap up today's video. You guys know the drill. YouTube recommends you watch this video right here as well as this is my most recent upload. So click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys all tomorrow for another video. Bye.